Well, howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here and... Secretary Brad. Secretary Brad. He's Secretary Brad right now. He's writing our love note. He always puts a note in uh, when we ship out hats each month. And he likes writing the letters, so that's what he's doing. Been getting packages ready. I got the hats and a couple other packages going out tomorrow. Yay. Still working on my commission painting. Didn't work on it today, but it's come along nicely. Anyway, it is October 3rd, 2017. It is Tuesday evening. It's 11.37 p.m. on this fine evening. They say hi to Miss Angel. Bradley just finished his last shift at Dollar General. Right, honey? Yes, ma'am. So he's all done there. And he's got, you know, he starts work sometime next week at his new job. But he'll have some time off. Oh, are we leaving? Wow, okay. Bye. Did I offend you or something? Come here. You no, know you wanna. You're gonna go cuddle up with your boyfriend. So he's all done with that. Yay. I'm very excited he's gonna have some time off at home here. You know. And um uh we both slept pretty good last night. Even though it was warm. Um this R V retains heat very well. It was it was a cold weather R V. It was built and, and made for colder weather. So it actually retains heat pretty darn well, doesn't it, honey? Yes, it does. A um, little too well. But um, uh, got up today, kind of same old, same old. Uh, we didn't even sit outside. Um, we just sat here and visited for a while. and Then um, Brad got ready, went to work. Then he got to come home for lunch, and he brought home chicken. He stopped at the convenience store across the street, the crunchy chicken, and um, uh, got some of that. And then um, I just did some 5D. I'm going to show you in a minute if the cat will just calm herself down. Let me see first. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see if I can show you guys a picture of what I'm working on. I always keep all my. 5D stuff, the one I'm currently working on in here. Um, works out nicely, and these close up real nice. So, but anyway, <coughs> this is another, going to be another gift, another Christmas gift. That's what I'm working on right now. Isn't that pretty, that horse? So, this is what I'm doing the bottom part right now. Oh, you guys can see that's what I have done so far. It's turning out real pretty. Now you can finally start to see what it is. Did you see this one? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, um, so I've been working on that mostly today. Um, I did get one hat done last night. Wait, last night. Got this one done. First one for um, Oklahoma. So, yep. Yeah. I'll be going in the bag for Oklahoma. Um, that's all really I have. Oh, I, like I said, I'm, I, got, um, I got a gift I'm giving away to a, a couple gifts giving away to a couple of people that, um, you know, really. have been great friends and stuff and, and really have helped us uh, to find uh, 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 Queen Bee and Barbara you know, and invite us to come out to Alabama when uh, Irma was coming and then um, another friend Michelle and her husband that, that helped us out uh, you know and uh, so yep so um, that's all I have to say do you have anything to say about your last evening at work and uh and all of that stuff, honey? 
Well, yes, because I used to be a waitress. Uh -huh. <laughs> Almost there. Yeah. Chewing fat. You know, you think about your last day, and the big thing is, is you get a serious case of short timers disease. Mm -hmm. And you keep thinking about what you'd like to do, you know, as in really, really obnoxious yeah. stuff. But, you know, I'm just running business as usual. Mm -hmm. and, and it made yeah, me but feel, you're professional, so you never do that. Yeah, it made me feel really good that. You know, so many people were. Yeah, he had very, all kinds of people tonight. Yeah, very, very sorry to see me go. And uh, that is one thing. That is one thing that has really, really impressed me with uh, Panacea, because I mean, we're we're moved here from a remote location and they just accepted us and embraced us. And I do have to say that about Panacea in this area. They have really open, you know, accepted us with open arms. Uh -huh. It's not some of that older than new people or anything. Yeah. And I mean, you got a little bit of that when you first came to the park, but you have to understand that, you know, they have people come and go out of here. Hello, focus. Thank you. <laughs> it was all, you know, but, I mean, they have people come through this park all the time. You never know what they're going to be like and how long they might stay or anything. Mm -hmm. But, you know, yeah. Yeah. So, but, yeah, that's all of it, really. You know, i just been uh, doing a little bit of soul searching, which I have a tendency to do from time to time and, and thinking about just life and, you know, and thinking that it's probably time for us probably to make up some wills, too, though, one of these days, huh? Mm -hmm. You know. Oh. I mean, probably it. They have written out somewhere what we want to have done with our, our, our bodies. Well, we do, though. Yeah, dump in the ocean. Ser in all seriousness. Okay. Okay, ignore him. I'm being serious, Brad. When you get to be our age, if you don't really have any family you can depend on, you need to have it written down somewhere what you want to have somebody do okay. seriously we don't have any family we can tell we'd like to have this done or that done <coughs> you know if i'm yeah. being serious no i've thought about that a lot today I you know that. i mean yeah. if we have moby dick come worship on in the bay water there and eat us when in well in the well, <laughs> Oh my God, go sit back in the corner. Really? Don't make me beat you again. I'm trying to have a serious conversation I, with you. You know I have a hard time. Fuck me. Fuck me. Why? You know I can't do that. This is me giving you the look. Oh, okay. Stop it. <coughs> I'm still so congested. I'm I'm done taking the steroids and the antibiotics, babe. I'm so congested. Are we still being serious? Yes, we're still. I'm sorry. Oh God, my. God. I'm just sitting here and rock. You know what? You know what? I want to turn the camera on you. No, you wouldn't do that. No, 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 no. I'm serious though. People, we are not getting any younger. And if you don't have any close family that you can depend on, you know, you're going to need to make out right down somewhere and make a damn video or something. Or somebody will be able to watch and say, what did this person want done with their crap? What does this person want, you know? They got to know what to do with my yarn and my 5D stuff. Even than Linda. What if Linda's already dead? She is older than me. She's like 11 years older. Holy smoke. <laughs> Linda, you heard him. Wow. She is. Wow. Yeah, we shouldn't act like it. Okay. 
บีนับเรื่องนั้นจะมีอย่างนั้นมีเดียวโอ้โหโอ้โห excuse me I'm so sorry <laughs> I forgot I was videotaping oh god people you see what I put up with yeah anyway she really should Been thinking about that. For people like us, you don't know who, who you should appoint or whatever. You no, know, if you don't have anybody that you could, uh, you know, really count on. That we can be there, you know, and. Uh, Not really sure what one does. In that case, the biggest thing I worry about. Yeah. Just want to make sure our creators are taken care of. Yeah. You know. Me always think that you'll have. Sorry. You always know, think you'll have your children that will take care of you, and, and you always know, think you have this like you'll have this idyllic image in your head of a happy fucking family. And then today it just kind of hit that that hasn't ever been, and it's never going to be. And because if it's not two people trying. Then it's never going to happen. There's one person beating her head against the wall. And that's all I've been doing is I just keep trying to think if I do this or if I do that, and it's not going to happen. But then it just kind of hits that you think, who's going to be there? Like if something happens to you, you know. I just won't have anybody. It's very heartbreaking when your children won't basically give you the time of day, really. They won't explain to you why. You have no clue why. And like I said, we've been going through some uh, stuff with the family that, like I said, I'm not going to talk about. But you know, it's just stuff concerning Brad's mother and stuff with her health, and it's been a rough, a rough. It's been a rough go of it, you know. I used to love Brad's mother and view her more as, as a, you know, like she was the first little mother I ever had. Stuff and uh, many voice and opinion, nor feeling, and it wasn't. Was it fighting with anybody or anything? But you just smacked right down. I'm sorry. It's just been really hard. And uh, you know, you love your family, but you know. That in order to save yourself, you you've had to take a great big step away, and 
Now, a much bigger step that you can take than... 2,000 miles away. Yeah. And, you know, you still miss them. You still love them. But that's the way it is. And I think there's a lot of people that really like me and care about me. And you have to wonder why. You know, if the pe very people that are supposed to love you and care about you aren't, don't, which is your family, you know. But I'll be okay. i just going through some stuff right now. I have a tendency to let it build up and build up, and then it just kind of hits me like a brick wall. You know, I know I have a lot of faults. But there's a few good things in me, too. No, there's a lot of good Well, but I mean, you know, yeah. I would give anything to, to have a relationship with our daughters, but you know, they just won't. You, you text them and stuff, and most of the time you never hear a word back. You know, it just breaks my heart. It just breaks my heart, but nothing I can do about it except for just go on. I mean, I think that's why, that's one of the things that drove me to start the Hats for 50 States is you know, you get tired of sending stuff to your kids and your grandkids. You never hear even a thank you or anything about them. And uh, <coughs> I thought, well, I could make hats and stuff and have, you know, it's more of a, great, a feeling of, of that I did something good just even donating them to people that I'll never meet, you know, but at least I touched somebody, at least they knew somebody cared, so, and so I just, I've been through a lot of stuff in my life, you know. The rejection from your family. It's just so fucking painful. You know. Well, sweetie, how many times have I said it that most married couples have either one side or the other side is really effed up, but you were lucky to get married into somebody where both sides, both sides of the family are yeah. really effed up. It's very, very dysfunctional. Very dysfunctional, you know. Yeah. And uh, then you kind of get put in the middle of stuff, and you know. And you know, of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick by, stand by my husband, on whatever he decides. First of all, it's his, his, his side of the family, and uh, you know, his mother, and that you know. We're a team, yep. you know, and even if I totally disagreed with him, we're still a team. Not that I do, but, you know, if I did, but, yeah. If you guys have been wondering why I've been quieter lately and in the shorter videos, it's because, you know, we've had some stuff going on, but, you know, and that's been hard, and, you know, and I see so many of you guys have such wonderful relationship with your, with your, um, families and stuff and, and I love watching it. I love watching it. You know, such a beautiful thing. But and then too it's like I wish that I had I always wanted you know, like to go out shopping or, or something with with like my daughters or, or stuff and uh, you know um, just like you always wanted to go out fishing and hunting and stuff with your dad or, you know, with other male family members. And I mean, it's just, 
this way people wonder how we can move away. It was easy because it was, we weren't le we weren't leaving anything behind. Sadly, it was there was nothing there. Even though they were there, we weren't. Every time this family gathered for a holiday or any event, we weren't invited, and they all fucking knew that we were sitting there alone. If they would drive by our house ever so slowly, you know, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff and I don't want to make this an hour long boo boo thing, you know, poor Brad. He should have known it when I asked him to bring home chocolate. <laughs> no, I'm not at the age where I have my cycle anymore, but it's hard. And I've, you know, spent a lot of time alone lately and stuff because Brad's been working a lot, you know, but I'll be fine. Well, you're stuck in well, I worry though, I worry about calling people like Linda and stuff because I don't want to be a pest, you know, but sometimes it's just, you know. But um, we're going to go get a new air conditioner tomorrow. That'll be good. Because yeah. it is hard to stay in the RV and have it be so hot. And this one air conditioner is making a horrible sound now. And we talked about it. And even though it'll leave us tight for money, we were going to go ahead and, and get one at Walmart. They got one on clearance that, that would do this trick and stuff. So we're going to get that where I got some plywood and, and then we're going to do we have enough glue for that? Um, no, probably want to get some more okay, but so we're going to get that tomorrow mm -hmm. and, and that'll be really nice and and you'll be home for you're going to be stuck with me for a few days you'll be home for a few days so Charlie's looking at us well, you shouldn't have to live where you're afraid to ever voice a feeling or a, an opinion. And then people wonder why I was so shut down for so many years and just didn't talk to anybody. But when you're made to feel like by the very people that should love you, they, you shouldn't ever say anything. And it wasn't anything mean. It wasn't anything nasty. It was just, yeah. you know, saying this is what's happened and this is what's happened and I'm telling just you this and you know, it wasn't like, you know, I was stirring any trouble up or anything, but, you know. <coughs> anyway, I'm sorry, guys. You guys know I'm not normally this way, but once a while, no problem. Well, you know, it's, it's a lot of stuff, you know. We were so excited about maybe getting that apartment, even though... <laughs> <laughs> Even though I thought you liked it, and you thought I liked it, and, yeah. you know. I mean, it would have been a, it would have been a nice enough place. Yeah. I mean, if we got it, honestly. I mean, I still think about that, but this wasn't meant to be, and you know, just a lot of stuff that's been going on, and yeah. you know, yeah. I've been sick with this chest stuff for a while now, and that's yeah, starting to time. get to me. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I've just finished the antibiotics <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the steroids, and I'm still just as congested. I don't want to have to go back in. Yeah. I think we're going to have to start, like, some breathing treatment to get yeah. this out of my lungs. But anyway, I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm all over the place, and I'm like a big boo-hoo baby, and, you know, how much my life gets to you. Yeah. Right? You know, we might go to the Cluster Oyster... Cluster Shuck. Cluster Shuck. Yeah. Oyster uh, Festival. Festival. <laughs> Sunday. It's the first one they ever had, so... That could be... I wonder if they're going to have people, like, that really do it fast. I don't know. And they're supposed to have live music and celebrity chefs, which I don't know yeah. who they're going to get down here. Maybe they're going to call me. Probably. <laughs> I don't know the first thing about cooking oysters. I don't know anything. Well, didn't we steam some or something? Yeah. Yeah. 
But, um, yeah, so anyway, we'll see how money goes and if we can do that or not. But, yeah. I'll let you guys go. I've done enough damage. <laughs> Hi, yes. But I was like, do we have any kind of medication? Ooh, you're in your underwear. Yeah, I'm in my tidy whities No, they're not whities No. Anyway, I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so much, and I'll be fine. Brad will be home for a few days, and I'll be batshit crazy by the time that he goes. <laughs> oh, you just messed up my whole thing. You I messed did. up my whole setup, too. I did. You got them all Twitter pages. I did. All right. Anyway, sorry, guys, for the boohoo-ness. And um, I think you guys are awesome, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.